wildcard weekend was, well, wild. You honestly have to feel for the Eagles and Carson Wentz. In a season defined by overcoming injuries, they couldn't overcome his. It's hard not to think that the Wentz durability and Nick Foles' narratives won't come back from the dead, but for Seattle, they did what they always do. They played to their level of their competition, and in a close game, Russell Wilson is always a good bet. I also think if DK Metcalf keeps growing at this rate, he's on his way to becoming a top 15 receiver. That's a scary thought for the rest of the league. But let's be real, we all penciled in the Saints to win this weekend against the Vikings. Many of us, myself included, had them in the Super Bowl. So consider your, I mean my, bracket busted. And for Kirk Cousins, leading a game-winning overtime playoff drive in the Superdome should all but bury the narrative that he can't win the big one. For the Saints, go ahead and complain about that OPI that wasn't called on the game-winning play. But unlike last year, I think this one falls on deaf ears. They're frankly lucky this game even went to OT based on how they played. As impressive as New Orleans has been the past few years, they just always seem to find heartbreak and controversy. But there's no debate, the championship window with Breeze appears to be closing rather quickly. And speaking of closure, the Patriots dynasty. Yes, I know, we've buried them before. But for the first time ever, this feels really real. The Titans pulled off the impressive, but not all that surprising, upset in Foxborough. And for the Patriots and Tom Brady, anything is on the table. And that in itself is stunning. And if it is the end, this was the greatest dynasty in NFL history. There's also no overreacting to Deshaun Watson's wizardry in big moments. The MJ of football willed his team from a 16-0 deficit and delivered an unforgettable moment in overtime. The Texans are not a great football team, but they do have a great QB. And in the playoffs, that can trump anything. Hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and stick around for more from USA Today Sports.